Hello, Crossword family. I'm Stevie. This is Stevie Solves, and today it's Friday, June 24th, 2022. And today's puzzle is by two women, Sophia Maimudas and Margaret Cycle. Cycle? Cycle? Who knows? And you don't see that too often with two women co constructing a puzzle. So. This is going to be fun, I'm sure. Before I get started, I have to give gratitude. And today, I am very grateful for my friends Jake and Rob, who have invited me to play disc golf. I've now played with them three times over the past month and have a really good time each time. The first time I played 18 holes totally barefoot in the pouring rain with no shirt only just only shorts and that's it it was such a grounding experience I'm stepping on sticks and pine needles and leaves and branches and animals and it was awesome uh, we played again today and had such a fun time they have courses here in Tampa like right along the beach along the ocean there's some that are along rivers and it was a pr really pretty uh, course today so I am a new I am a new <laughs> disc golf frisbee golf guy now all right so Fridays are on the hard side uh, I've recently, this week, completed an entire year of solving the New York Times puzzle every single day. So uh, if you want to check that out, one of my previous videos from earlier this week, and um, you can see, you can watch me accomplish that. It's pretty awesome. Um, I honestly really never thought that I would be good enough to be solving weekend puzzles of the New York Times, Saturday, Sunday puzzles. But not only that, but I remember when I could solve my very first Saturday puzzle, I felt so accomplished. And now it's just like I can solve all of them. And it still blows my mind to this day. Source of the quote, it is more blessed to give than to receive kind of sounds like Santa I wonder if it's from like Mark or John or one of the Gospels T toward the tail I believe is aft is this an F wig out so with the out in parentheses what they're saying is you kind of have to add the word out to make the comparison make sense so wig doesn't mean freak but wig out means freak out and again how do i know this is freak it could be there it could be a lot of things but i'm already thinking this is aft so i'm just verifying if this is an a, a, an f with tough with the really tough New York Times puzzles you're almost never going to have a total gimme where you just know the answer 100% because Will Shorts is so good at tricking you marsupium by the by another name that makes me think of a koala bear does it fit no it doesn't fit or a kangaroo something Meghan Markle's something borrowed. <laughs> Crown? No, the oh, tiara. Something borrowed, some, something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Brand once produced by Dow Chemical. I don't think I know that brand. Aft. Polecats, raccoons, squirrels, 
etc. I'm thinking like vermin. I'm thinking critters. Is this an E? Uh, uh, writers org with apt initials. What type of initials would be a writers organization? I don't know. Brazilians place. That makes me think of a spa. Like if you're getting a Brazilian wax. Queen's protection. Queen's protection. Oh, could be, it could be like drones, like the queen bee or the queen ant. Um, Brazilian's place. Is this an A? Historian Schomburg of the Harlem Renaissance. No idea. Is this a T? Good auto for an LA to NYC road trip. So that the the abbreviations in LA to NYC make me think of there's some kind of abbreviation in the answer. Um, oh, this is going to be acts. That's right. Figured it was something from the Bible. Acts. Um, critters. Let's just go for it. Dress down. Tear apart. Good auto. It makes me think of like trailer. What is this? Marsupium. Kanga. Queen's protection. Don't know it. Don't know it. Historian, no idea. Group photo pose during a rush. Sorority. That's about it. That's about it all I got. Ipso facto is an old uh, a Latin term that's used in law. Record label co-founded by Drake. I don't know. Flip could be to go ape. Signature scent introduced in 1961. I want to say Este. Is this an E? BART, San Francisco. BART is Bay Area Rapid Transit. It's their like subway and bus system. I'm thinking this is este. Is this an S? Literally skewer. Could be like spire. Um, is this an E? Alternative to blinds, I think is slats. Pallid, I think that's could be ugly. Fermented beverage sounds like ale. Pallid would be ashy or airy. I think ashy, like your skin. This is going to be ale. It's fermented. Stronger than pain. Slogan. I think that's Advil. Makes sense. I mean, it fits, right? <laughs> I actually didn't know that. But RN's insertion. Notice again, the RN is abbreviated. So I'm thinking it's IV tube or IV drip. Persuade could be to goad, not alcoholic. Not alcoholic could be virgin. IV drip. Is this an R? Uncommon member of a high school band. Maybe oboist? Let's see. Frequent maid of honor in brief. Again, so in, in this case it says in brief. You don't have to get the clue from an abbreviation in the clue, within the clue. But this is probably going to be sis. Your maid of honor. Yeah, usually if you have a sister, she's going to be in there. She's going to be one of your bridesmaids at least. 
things that parks and families have. Families have trees. Parks have trees. I hit about a dozen trees with my frisbee today. IV tube. This is a B civil rights activist. Something Lou Hammer. Cindy. I'm thinking Cindy Lou. Place to slurp ramen. Noodle bar. And it is oboist, huh? They don't let oboists in the in the high school band. What's that about? Mortgage offering. I think that's a rate. Persuade. Lean. Um. What is this? Cause of a breakup. Love. Probably love. Cheese steak. Cheese steak, not cheesecake. Um, che uh, I'm going to go for more. Let's see. Creator of terraced agricultural fields known as Andenis. I'm thinking Inca just because I think of I thought of them initially when they talked about the terraced agricultural fields and that they're called Andin Andinas like the Andes Mountains so I think it's Inca. Say you're so cute. For example, e.g. that means Q. My friend Junior has a shirt with a picture of a pigeon on it that says keep it coo and the pigeon is wearing sunglasses and he didn't know that it's because the coo is the sound that a pigeon makes like coo coo and crows go ka ka that's uh, both commonly used in uh, crosswords summer temperatures of 120 Fahrenheit and Death Valley sounds like the norm in Death Valley. Provolone. Provolone. Okay. Somewhat. In part, alternatives to blinds. Alternative to blinds. I don't know still. Not alcoholic. Persuade is to sell. Not alcoholic could be soft. IV line and Fanny. Fanny Lou Hammer. Okay. to NYC road trip Trans Am yeah kangaroo marsupium kangaroo something oh saran wrap produced by Dow Chemical I'm guessing Queen's protection is a stinger although I don't know if that's true because I don't think the Queen actually has a stinger However, her protectors do, so I guess I'll allow it. Artur, itch is an urge. An urge to splurge. Leak through is probably seep through. Writers org with apt initial. Sounds like pen. P E N. Professional. I don't know what it means, but that's that is apt. Arturo. Senora is a title for Frida Kahlo. Alternatives to blinds are antes. Oh my gosh, I'm a poker player, and I didn't even think of 
that alternate alternative to those blinds. So in Texas Hold'em and a few other games, you put blind money out. Um, only the first two players usually put out blinds. But then in other games, you have antes where everybody pitches in a little bit before they get cards. Ooh, SS, what is that? Don't know. Oh wait, I put this in the wrong place. I think this is este. I think, let's see. Literally to skewer means to, hmm, don't know. Alive with excitement, I think that's a gog. Could be shank. Scroll down here. What do we got here? Kangaroo pouch. Marsupium. Kangaroo pouch, I bet. Is this an O? Home to California's Lime Kiln State Park. Is this a U? Numbers that come after one. <clears throat> Do not know the Simpsons character with an 18 letter last name. That would be Apu Nahasa Pima Petalon. Nahasa Pima Peta. Lawn. Yeah, more or less 18, I guess. This might be like Eunice or something. It's Christmas special, Christmas spirit. Part of a French 101 conjugation. I believe that's etre. Or it could be ets. I, that came up recently. States could be says. I'm thinking this ends in E. Ease could be abate. Home to California. Lime Kiln State Park. Big Sur. Eugene. This probably is pouch. Area codes, numbers that come after one. Yep, number area codes. Kind of architectural movement with the philosophy of living with less. Tiny homes, home or house? What salt and pepper were not, despite their name, a duo? Yeah, I actually think there might have been a third one. Hmm. When doubled, a racing sound, vroom, vroom. Weathering Heights setting. Don't know. Tiny house, X, maybe in Spanish. It could be X, it could be por, like, like a multiplication times. Maybe in Spanish. I need more. Windows might be opened by one. Thinking like a mouser, but that doesn't make sense. High pitched cry. Eek. Chemical suffix is probably an N or maybe. A S E O S E Ain Een. This is probably Eek. Long time NPR call in show. Car. Something those two guys work on the cars and people call in and describe the problem. Hmm. 
They're denoted by T's for T's. I don't know what that means. Gobble up, I think, is to eat. Renee. Renee Golds Blank Goldsberry of Hamilton. I have been obsessed with Hamilton ever since I watched it back in. I watched it in January, I think. Got to meet the guy that played Hamilton. His name was Nick Alexander. Um, went with my good friend Hannah and my brother and his girlfriend Jesse. It was an awesome night awesome show I'm in love with Hamilton her name is Renee Elise Goldsberry author Mario Vargas something don't know this probably is eat impertinent sort what is impertinent I don't remember it's one of those words you see it a lot in crosswords but I don't remember Okay, might be a little stuck. Ohio claims to be its birthplace. Don't know. TV character who said, I do love a locker room. It smells like potential. <laughs> Oh, this could be lover's quarrel. I think this is car car talk. They're denoted by T's for T's. I'm guessing talls. Like uh, the size. Impertinent sort might be a snot. This could be Asian. Aviation. I think I heard that recently that Ohio claims to be first in, uh, in aviation. Chemical suffix could be a D or an N. TV character who said that Ted Lasso Ted Lasso I love Ted Lasso I have a Ted Lasso shirt I'm gonna go grab it my Ted Lasso shirt gifted to me by my good friend at the Talking Stick Casino Scott Scott Nevitz I think Scott Nevins anyway love Ted Lasso if you've never seen it you are missing out sorority squat Group photo pose, sorority squat. Hmm, is that a thing that people know about? Jeep successor, Humvee. Oh, shish kebab. So this is gonna be an I and this is Alive with excitement, a, hum, a hum. Cheese from the south of Italy, burrata. X maybe, oh, Bessel. Weathering Heights setting, maybe the moon? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, a PC user, so more was the Wuthering Heights, okay. PC user. Sep 
Sepha, Sepia, could be anything. Mesopotamian goddess of love and war. I think that's Ishtar. <laughs> Barada, yeah, that's a cheese from South Italy. Barada, there's like sopresa, sopresada or sopresetta. There's so many different cheeses, so many different wines, and so many different meats. The sorority squat. I love that from these two women that made this puzzle. Sophia and Margaret. Well done, ladies. So this is a very clean puzzle. There's there's just not a lot of like initial abbreviated, initialized like things that are kind of crossword filler. So yeah, I really like this puzzle. There's no theme, although I suspect that the sorority squat might be kind of what they worked the worked it around. Kangaroo pouch, lovers quarrel. Man, I wonder if that's ever been in a puzzle. All right. Oh, and I for I forgot the, about these women. They're talking about. Uh, Brazilians, getting Brazilians at the spa, the queen. Sometimes it just kind of means a little bit more when you have a little bit of insight into the constructors. And I highly recommend this article. If you're not familiar with it, there's always this wordplay article with each New York Times puzzle so you can actually read from the constructors themselves about like their thought process through creating the puzzle maybe their struggle their idea everything and uh that's always a good, good listen and they break down the uh, author of the article breaks down s several of the clues that are, like tricky clues and kind of fills you in of course, if you watch me solve the puzzle, then you get all that anyway, but I definitely recommend that article. Okay. I, for the word of the day, would like to teach you this word, abate. Abate means to ease, to slow up, to calm down, so and if you ever watch football, for all my fellow football fans out there, whenever a player is offside, then the referee, you'll often hear them say that the player was unabated to the quarterback, meaning he was about to cream the quarterback if they didn't blow the whistle. Because sometimes they just let you get a free play if you're the if you're the offense but if the guy's about to nail the the quarterback then they just go ahead and call blow the whistle and call it dead so that would be abated it was, if somebody was in his way he'd be abated but if he's no one in his way he is unabated and that's what abate means to ease up all right, hope you enjoyed this puzzle. I enjoyed making it. Thanks for watching. Make it a great day. Namaste.